So this is how you can opt out of Amazon Sidewalk for Echo devices. So you get your phone, you open up your Amazon Alexa app. Well, today is June 8th, 2021, and uh, your Amazon devices may be doing something that you don't necessarily like. So today's video is about Amazon Sidewalk. Now, Amazon Sidewalk is basically the same exact thing that is, well, on every single Apple device. The Find Me Network on Apple devices works by the device being around other Apple devices that have this enabled. So, for example, my iMac has Find My Mac enabled. So, if you brought your phone over here and you left it here and you're looking for it, when you search, my Mac would then help your phone tell you where your phone is. Now that's one tricky caveat to it is that of course if you lose your phone like in the middle of nowhere like if you're out on a farm and you drop it there's not going to be anything around for it to ping off of to to tell you. So Apple just recently released the AirTags and when the AirTags came out Tile which of course made the same thing for about 10 years was like, man, this is so unfair. How are we gonna be able to compete with this? Because tile devices worked in the same way that Find My iPhone works. Your tile device had to be near somebody else with a tile device for it to communicate and tell you, meaning that basically, well, tiles are absolutely pointless when you can get AirTags and Mac devices are everywhere. So Amazon stepped in and basically partnered with Tile and then they created the Amazon Sidewalk. It really is something that Amazon had been working on for a while, but Tile getting into this is, is totally new. This happened like back in May. So essentially with Amazon Sidewalk, now Echo devices and Ring devices are going to do the same thing that an iPhone does. So if you were to use Tile, for example, and you lose your keys or whatever, as long as your keys are by somebody else who happens to have an Amazon Alexa device, then it'll tell you, hey, your keys are over here. Now, there's a lot of complaints about the fact that this technically uses your internet. It really uses a, such a fraction of your internet that you wouldn't even notice. Now, from a security standpoint, is it a risk? Yes, it's using radio frequencies and the Bluetooth from all of these Amazon devices to communicate with one another. And if you know anything about Bluetooth, well, you'd know that it's very hackable. There's stories of hackers that have drove next to cars and like literally been able to hack the car and make the car do things through the Bluetooth connection that the car is giving out. So it is a risk, but I mean, you would have to have somebody like really targeting you because, you know, Bluetooth only works within so many feet. I just personally feel that it's just not very likely that someone's going to take all that time to try to hack through the sidewalk network, through your ring device to get to your computer, if that would even be possible. So, do I think it's really a big deal? No, not at all. But what I do think is that Amazon should have given everybody the option to either allow this or not allow this. If you go into your Amazon Alexa or Ring app, you'll see that this is enabled completely by default without you knowing. Compared to with a Mac, you of course have to opt into it and so you know what you're getting yourself into. So here we'll show you exactly how you can opt out of Amazon Sidewalk for all of your Alexa devices. Before we get started here though, make sure you click that like button, click subscribe, and check out indulgeclothing.com for the merch. So this is how you can opt out of Amazon Sidewalk for Echo devices. So you get your phone, you open up your Amazon Alexa app, you click down here to more, and then you have settings. Once you go into settings, select account settings, and then Amazon Sidewalk. This does state that it's coming soon. Uh, this is supposed to be enabled across the Amazon Echo and Ring devices on June 8th. So that is today. And then as you can see, it's already enabled and you can click that little button and now it is disabled. And it kind of tells you here, it can uh, help you connect with compatible devices automatically. It can extend your coverage for sidewalk enabled devices such as ring smart lights and pet and object trackers because they partnered with Tile due to Tile feeling that it was unfair that Apple made those air tags and that those were uh, basically gonna, those were basically gonna put Tile out of business. So Amazon partnered with them. Now, also side note, if you have ring devices, 
the Ring doorbell, the Ring security camera, etc. You have to do it in the Ring app. So uh, for that one, I don't have Ring, so I can't show you, but I can tell you, open up your Ring app, go to the control panel, and then Amazon Sidewalk, disable, confirm. So that's a little bit of a breakdown of Amazon Sidewalk and exactly what it is. I don't think it's the worst thing in the world. I do think that uh, Amazon should have at least sent us an email, like saying, hey, this is coming out. Can you, you can opt in, you can opt out, click here if you want to opt out. The thing is, is I think they know that a lot of people would opt out of this due to security concerns. I mean, in my opinion, I, I don't even like Amazon devices, especially after they partnered with the police. That's why I don't have any Ring devices. To me, they should have at least sent something to people. But of course, they knew then they would lose a lot of their network and they need that network to make everything work in the way they want it to work. Very similar to Apple. So hopefully you have a better understanding of it and now you know how you can opt out of it. So that should do it for this video. If you can, click that like button for me, click subscribe, and check out Indulge Clothing for the merch. And I'll see you in the next video. Deuces.